OK。Hello, Mr. Stevens. I have your delivery. Please leave around the side of my house. Excuse me. Can I help you? Hello. <laughs> Congratulations on purchasing your new Arlo Essential Video Doorbell Wire Free. With both wire free flexibility and optional hard wiring for continuous charging. Arlo has you covered. Before you start, here are some tips: fully charge your battery for either a wire-free or wired install. Tools you may need: a Phillips head screwdriver, a drill and six millimeter drill bit if you need to drill new holes for the doorbell, electrical tape. Now let's get ready to install. Step one: set up. You'll need to download the Arlo app to your phone or tablet. Create an Arlo account if you are a new user, or log into your existing Arlo account if you already have one. Ensure you're connected to a 2.4 gigahertz network and sign into the app. Select Add New Device, Doorbell and Chimes, Essential Video Doorbell Wire Free, and follow the prompts. You will need to enter your Wi-Fi credentials. Use the included release pin to remove the mounting plate from the doorbell, and then insert the fully charged battery. Keep the mounting plate and doorbell separated until prompted. Make sure to keep the release pin in a safe place for use later. Press the doorbell button to sync. The white LEDs will begin flashing. Hold the QR code from your app about four to six inches in front of the doorbell and listen for the success tone. Name your doorbell and follow the prompts. Your firmware will be updated, and it might take a few minutes. Next, the app will prompt you to select between two powering options. By battery or wired. Wire-free installation. If you have selected the battery-powered option, your next steps are to find a mounting location and select either the flat or optional angled mounting plate to optimize your viewing angle. Once you have selected your mounting plate, install it approximately 48 inches above the ground. It is important to position the terminals at the top and to reserve a two-inch clearance above the mounting plate, so you are able to access the release hole later when you want to recharge your battery. Secure the mounting plate with the screws provided. Finally, using a down and in motion, mount your doorbell to the mounting plate. You will hear a click. Press Finish in the app, and you're ready. When you need to recharge your battery, remove the Arlo doorbell from the wall plate and bring your doorbell inside to charge. You can charge your battery by inserting the provided charging cable like this. Do not leave your Arlo doorbell outside without the battery inserted, as it may affect weather resistance performance. Wired installation. Tips for before you start your wired installation: ensure your existing doorbell system has 8 to 24 volt AC. Then turn off the power to your doorbell at the breaker. If you need help, contact a local electrician or professional to assist you. Remove your existing doorbell and be careful that the wires don't fall back into the wall. It's a good idea to tape them to the wall to help them stay in place. Next, select a mounting plate that will optimize your viewing angle. Depending on your mounting location, you may want to use the angled mounting plate. Once you have selected your mounting plate, install it approximately 48 inches above the ground. It is important to position the terminals at the top and to reserve a two-inch clearance above the mounting plate, so you're able to access the release hole later. Connect your existing wires to the terminal on the mounting plate. Either wire can connect to either terminal. Now, mount your Arlo doorbell to the mounting plate with a down and in motion. You will hear a click. Then, turn the power back on at the breaker to restore power to your doorbell. Last, the app will prompt you to test your existing wired chime. Press Finish in the app, and your video doorbell is ready. Step three: Arlo Smart Setup. After the doorbell is installed, select Continue. The app will prompt you to set up Arlo Smart. 
The Arlo Essential Video Doorbell Wire Free includes a three-month trial of Arlo Smart, a subscription-based service you can add to your Arlo devices to deliver personalized notifications of events that matter. It even allows you to take quick action, like phone a friend or sound an alarm from your notification panel. Receive personalized alerts that tell you a package, person, vehicle, or even animal is in view. Easily create custom activity zones to pick up motion only in important areas like your front door or driveway. Plus, Arlo Smart stores your recorded clips for up to 30 days, so you can look back at past events and share clips with the authorities, neighbors, or family. Congratulations! Your Arlo Essential Video Doorbell Wire-Free is now active. Press finish and you're ready to enjoy the complete picture and total protection with Arlo Essential Video Doorbell Wire Free. This video shows you how to install Ring Peephole Cam, a smart wire free security camera and doorbell that replaces your peephole. First, fully charge the included battery by plugging it into a USB port or power supply with the included cable. You'll know it's fully charged when only one of the LED lights is lit. Now, let's grab the included peephole key and check if there's paint covering either side of your peephole, which could make it hard to unscrew. If so, use the toothed edge of the peephole key to remove any paint covering the edges of your lens or the rear of the viewer. Next, we'll use the peephole key to unscrew your peephole. Place the flat edge into the slots and rotate counterclockwise. Once it's loose, you can unscrew and remove it by hand. Inspect both sides of the peephole for sharp or jagged edges. If needed, use the peephole key to smooth the openings. With the indoor side removed, the outdoor portion should slide right out. If this isn't your forever home, you may want to store your peephole in case you have to reinstall it one day. Simply screw the two ends back together and store it in a safe place. With the peephole removed, insert the outdoor assembly through the hole until your peephole cam sits flush against the door. If your peephole cam has yellow tape securing the cable to the tube, peel it off and discard it now. Now let's check to see if you'll need the adapter. It's used to help peephole cam fit doors with larger holes. You may not need it, but let's find out for sure. Slide the adapter onto the tube towards the hole. If it doesn't fit, that's fine. You won't need it. If it does fit, insert it all the way until the rim is flush with the door. Now let's set up the indoor half of your peephole cam. Hold the rear assembly by the thin edge of its body. Then grasp and pinch the cover here and pull them apart. You can set the cover aside for now. Next, carefully guide the indoor assembly onto the tube until it's flush with your door. Make sure you don't accidentally push the outdoor assembly out of the door. Now it's time to remove the connector cable from the tube. Grasp either side of the exposed tab and delicately draw it out of the tube until there's no more slack left. If your peephole cam has an orange cap over the tube, remove and discard it now. Let's secure the front of your peephole cam. Place the tightening nut onto the tube, then tighten firmly by turning clockwise by hand or using the peephole key. Make sure it's secure enough so that it doesn't rotate freely. The front side may shift slightly while tightening, so make sure it's level. Next, firmly press the connector into the port, ensuring it's connected. Then guide the tab into the channel and slide it down to secure the remaining slack in the cable. Slide the battery into the compartment. There will be a click when the battery is secure. To set up your peephole cam, open the Ring app and tap Set up a device. Then choose Doorbells and follow the in-app instructions to complete setup. Once setup is complete, place the cover back on your peephole cam. Then your peephole cam will be ready to use. We hope this video has helped you set up your Ring peephole cam. Welcome to Nest. We're going to show you how to set up and install the Nest Hello video doorbell. There are a few simple steps. Check that your current doorbell chime will work with Nest Hello. Begin setup with the Nest app, install the Nest Chime connector, install the doorbell, then finish up with the app. Everything you need to get started is in the box. If you're new to Nest, go to the Apple App Store or Google Play to download the free Nest app. Launch the app to create a free Nest account. Once you're signed into your account, tap the plus sign to add your Nest Hello.
If you're already a Nest customer, tap the gear icon in the top right corner of the app home screen. Then select Add a Product. You'll scan Nest Hello's code with your phone's camera. If you're having trouble scanning the code, make sure you have good lighting and that you're not casting a shadow. Start with your phone about a foot away and slowly move it closer to the code. It doesn't need to fill the box in the app to scan. You can also try scanning the QR code on the envelope in the box. If you still can't scan the code, tap Continue Without Scanning so you can type it in manually. You'll find the six-character code on the back of your Hello. The Nest app will then guide you through each installation step. Go to your home's breaker box and turn off the power to your doorbell and chime. This will protect you during installation. Try ringing your doorbell to confirm you've turned off the right switch. If you need to, you can also turn off the main power switch at the breaker box. Now remove the cover of your doorbell's chime. You may need a ladder to reach it. Take a picture of the chime's wires with your phone. This will help with troubleshooting later. Next, you'll tell the app about the wires connected to your chime. Most doorbell chimes only have two wires, but yours may have more. The labels are usually on or next to the wire connectors, but they can also be on the inside of the chime cover. In the app, select the number of wires in your chime and then tap on what the wire labels say. Now tell the app which doorbell you're replacing so it can show you how to correctly connect the wires. Next, the app will walk you through the steps to connect your chime wires to the Nest connector. Installing the Nest connector is required. If you don't install the connector, it could damage your doorbell system. The wire colors aren't important, but where they're connected is. We'll run through a simple wiring example for replacing a front doorbell with Nest Hello. Remember, because chime wiring varies so much, you'll need to follow what the Nest app tells you to get the right wiring instructions. But you can always have a pro install Nest Hello for you. In this basic example, disconnect the wire from the front terminal on the chime. Straighten the wire ends if needed, and trim them so there's no more than one quarter inch of exposed wire. If you have stranded wires, twist them until they're tight. Next, connect your chime wires to the Nest connector. Push the wire into the terminal until it stops, then gently tug it to make sure it's secure. Then put the chime connector's white wire into your chime's front terminal. Do the same for the trans wire on the chime using the gray connector wires. Once the wiring is done, find a place to put the chime connector. Make sure the connector and wires don't touch the chime or any moving parts, or the chime may not sound right or work at all. It may be easier to attach the connector to the outside of your chime cover. Now, replace your chime's cover. Next, you'll disconnect your current doorbell and replace it with Nest Hello. You can bend the wires or tape them so they don't slip back into the wall. If you want to change the angle of Nest Hello's camera, use the included wedge. This can be useful if your doorbell is located in a corner or close to a wall that blocks the camera's view. You can flip the wedge to reverse the angle if needed. Now you'll mark the screw holes with the wall plate. Make sure the Nest logo is at the bottom. You may not be able to reuse an existing screw hole. The wires must come through the bottom half of the wall plate's hole. If they don't, they can prevent Nest Hello from locking onto the wall plate. Use the included masonry bit and wall anchors if you're drilling into stone, stucco, or other hard materials. Now attach the wall plate. Start by drilling pilot holes with a 3 seconds drill bit. Again, make sure the Nest logo is at the bottom and that the wires come through the bottom half of the wall plate hole. The horizontal screw hole will let you straighten the wall plate if needed. You can use a level to check that it's straight. Connect the wires to Nest Hello. It doesn't matter which terminal you connect a wire to. Make sure the wires point down, not up, so any excess can be tucked back into the wall. If the wires are too short, use the wire extenders that are included in the box. To attach Nest Hello, simply slide the top onto the wall plate and press down until it clicks into place. If it doesn't seat properly or you don't hear a click, recheck that you've tucked any excess wire back into the hole. If you ever need to remove Nest Hello, use the included tool to release it. Now you can switch the power back on. Nest Hello will turn on, and its light ring will turn blue. If it's not, let the app know and it will help you troubleshoot. 
If there's no light on Nest Hello, go back to your chime box and double check that you've correctly wired the Nest connector. If the light is yellow, Nest Hello isn't getting enough power to stream video. You'll need to contact a pro to upgrade the voltage of your doorbell system. Now you'll finish setup with the app. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi password. Tell it where you installed Nest Hello. The app will connect to Hello. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. If you already have a Nest product installed in your home, Nest Hello will try to get your Wi-Fi info from it. If Hello can't connect to your Wi-Fi network, you can try moving your router a bit closer or adding a Wi-Fi extender. Now that Nest Hello is connected to Wi-Fi and the app, the app will test the video. Ring the doorbell to check that your chime is working. You should also get a notification from the app that someone's at your door. If you have an electric chime that doesn't have moving parts, you may need to adjust the duration with the app so you can hear it ring. If you have a mechanical chime with moving parts and it didn't ring or didn't sound right, remove the chime cover and check that the wires aren't touching any moving parts. Then test your chime again. If your chime still doesn't sound right, try installing the connector on the outside of your chime cover. Once you've confirmed your chime is working, you'll choose some more settings. You can try out Nest Aware for free, pick a language Hello will speak, and turn on audio recording and familiar face alerts. All right, so next we have Ring Video Doorbell Pro, which is our premium wired doorbell. Uh, so with this one, there's no battery option. You have to hardwire it to your existing doorbell system, but with that comes nonstop power and some pretty cool features. But what I wanna first get into is the awesome design. Uh, so as you see, it's super small and sleek, um, beautifully designed, really has that uh, nice look and feel. And we've actually gotten a ton of feedback from people that told us that they purchased the doorbell solely on how it looks on their home. Um, so great compliment to the design of it. So what I was referring to before about nonstop power from wiring, it gives you a few extra features that battery doorbells don't have. A few of these things are color night vision. So battery doorbells have night vision. Wired doorbells like the Pro have color night vision. It also has advanced pre-roll, which is a sort of a level up option of the pre-roll uh, feature that's on Video Doorbell 3 Plus. It also has customizable motion zones, which are motion zones you can create the Ring app actually by drawing them with your finger. What this really does is add extra customization and gets you the alerts that you care about most. So I really think Ring Video Doorbell Pro is perfect for people who want the best of the best. If you're the type of person that wants the best phone when they come out, the best TV, the best tech, I really recommend Ring Video Doorbell Pro. And if you're okay with the advanced DIY installation, you're good to go and you'll have the best experience.